Now all my teachers in the crowd, I want y'all to get loud for your boy. Let's give him one pump, each one, cause one year educators give it up for Justin. fits me every time I'm here. It's just so dead on. So listen, I know when you see me, you immediately think two fictional characters hooked up on a Saturday night and they make a middle-aged baby, right? Walter White and Bobby Hill had sex and here's what you've got. If you don't know who Bobby Hill is, well, you just missed him. Alright? Can't help it. Can't say that boosts my confidence any either. So, panhandlers, guys. Panhandlers are everywhere since I've moved to South Florida, right? I mean, most of them drive nicer cars than I do. And I bet I know what you do when they hit you up. You probably just give them money. I'm originally from Tennessee. My mamma said, you can catch a lightning bug in a jar, but you can't make its ass keep flashing. Right? So when I'm at an intersection and somebody hits me up, I pop the trunk. I pull out the folding table, the briefcase. Let's work on your resume. <laughs> right? How long have you been in your current position? <laughs> About 30 minutes? Willing to relocate. Check. <laughs> Any references? Cardboard Kenny from Shantytown. <laughs> Connections in the community. Check. How about special skills? A hand job behind that bush right there? <laughs> Willing to go the extra mile, check. <laughs> Mister, we're gonna get you employed. You guys laugh, right? Till I get him a job. <laughs> they're like, fuck you. Uh, had a prostate exam recently? I think I failed it. <laughs> Never a very good test taker. Uh, I think it was actually, it was more like a vision test. I couldn't tell how many fingers he was holding up. Right? And I really don't think I did well on the, uh, the shadow puppet part. Like the bird and the, the, uh, and the rabbit, they felt the same to me. All right? I don't know about you guys. Um, let's see, what else? I, uh, I was always, as a kid, I was too bad to be good and too good to be bad. Remember like that? Like I would steal my dad's Playboys, but then I would borrow my sister's paper dolls. And I would sit around and I would dress up the naked ladies and I would whisper to them, now you can respect yourself. <laughs> and then when my dad would get the magazines back and the pages were stuck together, like he was so proud of me and I didn't have the heart to tell him that it was just glue. just went through a, a tough breakup. So we were all hearing the breakup story, right? If you have a friend that does that, it starts long, and the more they tell the breakup story, the shorter and shorter it gets. So eventually they're just like, I killed her, all right? The bitch is dead, I killed her. Don't ask me anymore. God. He knows he's out there. Bitch might be dead, but has she moved out yet? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, fainting goats, guys. Fainting goats, have you ever heard of these? They're like one of the most honest creatures on earth, right? Like, they're just like normal goats, except they've got this like genetic built-in uh, like self-defense mechanism, right? The, the cool thing is that oh, they're not like us. They don't, they don't pretend to be anything they're not. Right? They don't try to be like, they don't, they, they don't try to be fighters or, or mountain goats that are on like the crag of the mountain. No. If you sneak up on a fainting goat, that motherfucker will drop and tell you that it's scared shitless. And I wish we could be that transparent as human beings. Wouldn't that be great? What if I meet a woman, the first words out of my mouth, I'm like, 
Listen, I'm a dick and the sex is not gonna make up for this. <laughs> right? And she's so kind and she does, she does the same thing. She goes, listen, I'm secretly in love with my girlfriend Tara. And I use natural deodorant. And we both just kind of look at each other and go, you scared the shit out of me. And we both just fall over. How much faster would things move that way? Uh, have you noticed that we never feel deja vu about awesome stuff? Have you ever thought about that? Like, uh, I, you know, I never look down and go, six pack, it's not beer for once. <laughs> or I'm never like, wow, that hairy trail of tears that goes down to my crotch. They're happy tears for a change. <laughs> no. Or it's never, wow, there's a pair of Asian twins knob gobbling me. And they're girls! <laughs> Deja vu? No, it's never that. It's always the, like, the boring stuff. Like, I've been here before in this toothbrush aisle. <laughs> I swear I've sat in this barber's chair before. This Panera is so familiar. Deja vu, right? Uh, have you ever heard the song, Whistle While You Work? What if you're in the adult entertainment industry? Can you whistle with a dick in your mouth? <laughs> I, got, I got a friend, can't get a bitch out of his place. Put you two together later. Uh, guys, I don't want to kill myself right now, but if I were to kill myself someday, you know what I want to do? I want to give the coroner something to talk about. I want to help him have a laugh, right? I think I want to hang myself fully nude. It's already hilarious, right? Make it look like autoerotic asphyxiation, but without the good time. And then dangling from my dick with a little noose around his neck, I want to hang an action figure. Now, preferably a David Carradine one from Kung Fu, and if you get that joke, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. Uh, how about this? You ever think about the swamp thing? Has he ever had his salad toss, do you think? Tastes like kale, I wonder? Him and the Jolly Green Giant together? Turns out that was not a great ender. Let's pretend that wasn't the ender. Let's do one more. Uh, so I met a co-worker's husband for the first time, right? First time I've ever met him, I've had a few beers, I'm like, oh yeah, this is great. And uh, I look at him and I say, I never would have put those dick pictures your wife was showing us with that face. I actually said that. Never would have put that dick with that face. He goes, who are you? I got up, I went around, I got to teach with your wife, this is a job. Don't touch me. I'm not gonna touch you, I'm not gonna touch you. Uh, be careful when you make comments to people about their dick pics, they are very, very touchy. And that is where I will finish. Thank you guys for coming out tonight.